Hey folks, welcome to the part 3 of this playlist. We are looking at real certification questions around AWS Certified Security Specialty. If you did not get a chance to subscribe to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. This will help you stay tuned to the latest certification contents around cloud products like AWS, Azure, GCP and other technology areas like Snowflake. Now let us jump into this question. So seriously, if you consider this, this question, what it is asking is you have an application, you are moving this application to EC2 instance and the employee should be able to, you know, log in anywhere from the internet. And currently the authentication on premises is done through ADFS and SSO, but post the migration, it lacks an authentication method. You are a security engineer. You want to establish employee only access to the system. So what will you use? Since I see this keyword anywhere on the internet and you have to do it, Cognito is the default. It is a customer identity and access management which can scale up. It is frictionless, very secure. So the answer, so the answer has to be, has to be, has to be Cognito. So we, which options have Cognito? We have A, Cognito and we have C which is Cognito. Let's cancel out. The other options, for example, B and D, I have striked it out. Why? Because B, from a security standpoint, nobody uses Lambda. Nobody, nobody, nobody uses Lambda for authorizers. Okay, that is purely cross. Now, option B, it is saying to implement SSO in the master account and then link this across. This will not work for anywhere on the internet requirement. So that's why this is wrong. Now, out of option A and option C, which is the correct one. If you want to provide employee only access, you remember, employee only employee only employee only it is not about end users it is not about amazon.com and you as a customer are buying something no it is only for the amazon employees only for the amazon employees that is the security that you need to provide so in that case you got to put an alb and you know option a looks correct to me because option c it is telling you to define a cognito identity pool install the connector on ad servers use SDK on the application instance to authenticate the employees using Active Directory username and passwords. See, whenever you remember that, whenever, whenever, whenever we are using Cognito, always think about SAML based authentication in the terms of providing SSO. SAML is the protocol that we should use. SAML sounds familiar with respect to Cognito and implementing SSO. That is why A has a better suitability compared to option C. So, this would be my final answer we will lock this and move forward you know there is an application and what it is doing it is encrypting the data before it stores how it is encrypting using keys where from which keys key management system cmk now recently there is, has been a policy amendment and what is the amendment boss what is the amendment it is now looking for a key rotation yearly key rotation what should you do now the main thing is the important thing is you don't want to modify the program security engineer must verify the yearly global rotation how should you do it see in terms of cmk there is always a, a, a feature you should configure the key schedule for annual rotation this uh, aws managed cmks you can do this now option a and c are confusing because they look identical the only difference is a is talking about aws managed keys and C is talking about AWS managed CMKs. CMK is that is the meaning is customer managed keys. These are the primary resources in KMS. You can use CMK to encrypt and decrypt. CMK is a logical representation of a master key. What does it contain? Boss, this is very important. Very important. It contains metadata such as key ID, creation date, description, and key state. This is important. And CMK also contains key material used to encrypt and decrypt the data. So you can pause that piece of the documentation if you want to understand what is a CMK. In this case, when we are talking about managed keys versus CMK, CMK is the right terminology. Since keys are not the right terminology, I am striking out option A. Now option B cannot be done without a code change. You will need a code change for this. That's why this is wrong. Why this is wrong? Why a code change is not required? Because the requirement says to do not modify the program. Option C is correct and let us scan option D. Now option D is similar to option B. It cannot be done without any code change. There is a small amount of code change required because if you do this, the, your code will stop working because what you are doing, you are still using the existing customer managed CMKs. What we want to do is with option C is that we will create a new CMK. We will configure the annual rotation. The annual rotation will not work with the existing CMKs. You will have to configure it a new one. Okay. So this would be my 
answer this would be the right answer now the developer is developing a lambda fun uh, lambda function okay what is the lambda function going to do it is going to store connection logging information and the developer is supposed to utilize KMS CMK issued by the information security department so there is a department it is telling you boss use this key okay only use this key developer has to make use of that key the department is saying him to use that key now developer what is he doing he is developing a lambda function and it will make use of environment variables to store connection and logging information so this lambda function is going to store connection and logging information okay who logged when and etc now out of these what is necessary option a says developer must configure lambda access to the vpc see here we are talking about interaction with kms and lambda okay so where does vpc come into play boss this is wrong right see we will only use common sense to answer this now option b says that your lambda function execution role must have decrypt permission okay it should have decrypt permission see why you need decrypt you are only going to store did anybody tell you that a read will happen no you only have to store you only have to write when you are writing first when you are writing encrypt and write it you are writing you have to encrypt encrypt when you are reading you have to decrypt okay here we are talking about storing storing means writing writing means encrypt so you need encrypt permission not decrypt permission now here option c they are saying the key policy must allow permission for developer to use kms key see that permission you know that permission is taken care at iam policy level it is not taken care of at kms key policy level if you talk about key policies here in kms what is the purpose one purpose only what is the purpose one purpose to control access to keys okay and keys means it is just like security guard you lock your apartment give the keys to the security guard and the security guard we'll see if any authorized person would need to take this key see using the key is secondary first did you generate did, do you have permission to generate that that is the first step right the first step here see i am policy assigned to developer must have generate key permission added this is the first thing once you generate data key then comes who can access that key okay if you see this documentation generate data key it will give you unique symmetric data key for use outside of aws kms but do does do we need access outside yes boss because in our question lambda needs that access so that is where the second option e the lambda execution role must have encrypt permission because lambda what is lambda going to do it is going to store store means write when it is writing it will encrypt when it is reading it will decrypt so the write at the time of write encrypt permission should be given and hence these two would be my final answer see in this question you know uh, there is a string parameter in systems manager so system manager what does it do first of all what does this service do it will centralize operational data from different aws services different aws services means like aws rds database or aws redshift database or it can be aws ec2 instances and so on and it is it automates tasks across different resources okay so for example if you see this we usually create a resource group okay uh, to uh, segregate the resources for example finance team will have their own resource group 
and inside that resource group they might have n number of ec2 instances some databases like rds and there can be other stuff as well so here in this case you can select a resource group and you can view what is the recent api activity or what were the recent resource configuration changes any notifications any operational alerts and so on okay you can also check by the way if this is beautiful you can check the compliance status also okay compliance status means if you know like suppose there is a policy okay anybody cannot launch a uh, higher configuration ec2 instances so you can check the compliance status using systems manager and see if did anybody launch it by if there was no automation in place and did someone launch it and break the policy break the rules that you can see so you have this parameter store okay and you want to the developers are trying to read that string parameter no? from the parameter store they want to read it and they want to decode it okay and they are using uh, key management cmk that is customer managed keys they are using that to first encrypt because they want to make sure that the secured string is not compromised but they are getting error okay what can be the two reasons see first reason uh, maybe the cmk does not exist itself okay what it means is the cmk that you are using why do you use cmk for to encrypt okay so the um, the key that you are using since you are getting this error the most likely this does not exist now option b says that cmk needs to be rotated see if the question no the, this question see this is important and please focus the question did it tell you that annual rotation or some sort of key rotation policy has been set the question is not telling you this if the question is not telling you this that means by default there there is no key rotation policy set so if you see this documentation or rotating keys you see here you have to enable the automatic key rotation by default it is not enabled only if you enable then the cryptographic material for the kms key is rotated every year okay but if this is by default it is disabled hence b is wrong because this cannot be a, a reason for error because uh, rotation was never enabled in the first place now let us look at option c the option c is telling that maybe you are trying to use key id instead of arn if you use arn then you will not get this error is it so see if you see this documentation uh, both are synonymous like if you want to identify kms key you can use key id or you can use key arn just because you used key id you will get an error that is not true so we have also established that this is wrong as well now d is saying that the cmk that we are trying to use is not enabled yes that can also happen either it is not enabled or it does not exist it can be one of the other but e says e says that the cmk used is using an alias okay see now this documentation where we look at key id and key rn you, you read this line now so in the cryptographic operations that means encryption and decryption okay you can also use alias names or alias arn if i can also use that why will it give error so this is wrong it will not give an error because i can use alias also i can use key id i can use arn i can use alias so these two are my final answers so these questions are a bit tricky and difficult i would not say 
that these are easy questions but try to focus on the concepts and how we are trying to decode and ensure that we are you know uh, weeding out the wrong options by the way if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe and there is also a way to join and become a member a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja membership will give you access to more questions more certification content and more information okay so up to you you can also become a member and access those content now this brings us to the end of this part stay tuned we will post many more such parts